1,000 years into the future, humans might look like this. This is Mindy, a model that shows what we humans might look like in the year 3000. Equipped with a hunched over back, claws, and a smaller brain, Mindy has adapted this way primarily due to technology and cell phones. But this is just a start of a potential evolutionary journey of the human body. Let's travel one million years into the future to see the even crazier ways our bodies will evolve. Super strength, giant eyes, and edited genes are all things you might see later in this episode. But why are we getting all these traits anyway? Well, more on that in a second, but for now, let's check in and see what the next phase of evolution is for humans. 5,000 years into the future. Okay, we're now several thousand years into the future, and in many ways, humans would look relatively similar to how we do now. Yeah, if we look 5,000 years into the past from where we are today, well, humans look basically the same. The main differences are that, well, we're now healthier, taller, and stronger. This is primarily due to how our diet, healthcare, and lifestyle have changed throughout the centuries. This is speculation, but you can assume that a lot will have happened 5,000 years into the future. Changes that include space travel and massive advancements in technology and AI. And how we look all depends on where humans decide to live in the future. If humanity becomes an interstellar civilization, well, we might look like this. And if we stay on Earth and go all in on AI, well, humans might look more like this. So we'll explore a couple of options as we move through the years. The generations of humans who decide to go to Mars will notice the most significant changes. Mars's lower gravity would lead to less bone density and muscle mass. But the change in gravity might also lead to increased height and longer limbs. And there'll be a lot more changes coming up, but for now, let's take another jump into the future and check on some other options for human evolution. You know, if you're wondering how we found out about some of the information in this video, well, you gotta check out Curiosity Stream. We looked at a couple of documentaries to try and get a handle on the future of humanity. My favorite was one called How to Build a Human, and it explores the technology and ethics of building a human AI hybrid and how that may be closer than you might think. Then I ended up watching a bunch of other docs on a ton of different subjects, space, humanity, even military history, all accessible on my TV, my tablet, and my phone. If you like What If, you're gonna love CuriosityStream. They've got something for everyone and new content every week, and the plans start at just $5 a month. If you wanna watch awesome docs and help out the channel, well, check out curiositystream.com slash whatifshow or scan the QR code on screen. Use the promo code WHATIFSHOW for 25% off your annual subscription. 25,000 years into the future. It's safe to say that technology will play a heavy role in how humans evolve. Traveling 25,000 years into the future, well, you might decide to have a designer baby. Instead of creating life naturally and leaving so many things to chance, you would select various traits for who you want your baby to be. You could choose physical characteristics like hair and eye color and much more essential features like the ability to avoid certain diseases and allergies. In a way, this is already happening today, but in the future, it'll be more advanced and accessible. It's also likely that humans will begin to fuse with technology, becoming cyborg-like beings. Think neural links, robot limbs, and sensory enhancements. Imagine having a chip in your brain that's equipped with an AI that provides you with any answer you need. Humans will have all these cybernetic enhancements that will make them smarter, stronger, and able to live longer. 100,000 years into the future. One of the ways which we can see how much humans have evolved is by looking at our faces and heads. As you see here, in 100,000 years, 
our eyes and heads will be significantly larger. This will be due to multiple reasons, one of them being that we'll be living in different environments, like space. Our larger eyes will allow us to see better in low-light environments. They'll also help protect our eyes from the cosmic rays found in space. On Mars, along with bones becoming less dense and limbs continuing to get longer, residents there will need to develop some new survival traits to last this long. As humanity has developed on Mars over the generations, well, they've been experiencing tons of radiation in their environment. That's thanks to the lack of an atmosphere on the Red Planet. Over time, humanity there has slowly adapted to this new way of life, but the radiation levels are so harsh that they likely haven't adapted enough to live comfortably. One of the problems with evolution is that it's incredibly slow. Seeing significant change in our bodies can take millions of years. So to fix that, we'll need to make some changes ourselves. You'll see what I mean as we continue on to our 1 million year mark. 250,000 years into the future. Yeah, humanity was tired of waiting and waiting for changes in evolution to happen, so they've decided to do it themselves. We've been altering our bodies with technology for hundreds of thousands of years at this point, but now we're going to take it to another level. Yeah, instead of adding some sort of enhancement to our bodies, well, we'll now alter our DNA with advanced genetic manipulation. Scientists are already experimenting with this technology, but 250,000 years from now, well, you can bet the science will be advanced beyond belief. Scientists will be able to alter, edit, and even add different genetic mutations, both before people are born and after. In the case of our colony on Mars, well, people on that planet could alter their genes so that the radiation isn't as harmful to their bodies. And that's just the start. Eventually, we'll alter our genes to produce all sorts of insane attributes. You could be brilliant, have super strength, or be immune to every disease. As humanity unlocks this new era of human evolution, things are about to get even better. By the way, are you wondering where we've been getting all these crazy video ideas lately? Well, they come from our Patreon. We've got an exclusive Discord where members get front-of-the-line access to talk about the what-if ideas they want made. Sign up and maybe we'll create your next idea. 500,000 years into the future. Okay, it's been another 250,000 years. Humanity has been playing around with this gene editing thing and it's gotten pretty ridiculous. Scientists have managed to combine parts of lizard DNA with our human DNA. This has allowed us to regrow our limbs and grow new organs if we need them. Also, along with the help of technology and gene editing, humans are more intelligent than ever. We can now naturally have any appearance we want. This might sound kind of scary, but gene editing like this will likely be essential for us to survive in new environments, like space and our evolving Earth. One million years into the future. So remember the humans back on Earth? The ones who were adding tons of cybernetic enhancements to their bodies? Yeah, they've continued to do that, along with tons of gene editing. And the people in space have been doing the same thing. But as we've been progressing through these one million years, well, the environments on Earth and Mars have been very different. And because of these different environments, the humans living on these planets would have different needs and desires for the types of bodies they want. Remember, evolution is all about lifestyle and environment. That's why Mindy, at the start, looked the way she did. It's possible that the humans living on these two planets would be so different that they'd essentially be two completely separate species. Sort of like 50,000 years ago, when there were humans on Earth at the same time as Neanderthals. But regardless of how they're different, it's likely that both types of future humans will be the most advanced species ever seen. 
We'll live longer, maybe forever, be smarter than ever, and be ready to take on whatever challenges the future holds. Speaking of the future, at this point, humanity is likely in a Type 2 or maybe even a Type 3 civilization. But what happens after that? Well, that sounds like a story for another What If.